much, Rick. Now, Brian Cranston and Aaron Hayes are here. Brian, executive produced the new Amazon series, The Dangerous Book for Boys, based on the hit children's book. And Aaron plays a mother trying to help her kids deal with the death of their father, who left them the title book. I have something here from your dad. And he told me I'd know when to give it to you, and he was right. Under the gnome? What's a gnome? It's right between the sound machine. Treehouse. On the cloud of sound, I ducked in the night. Purple haze. Bermuda. What's so dangerous about a book? For you trying to read it. Well, good morning, Brian and Aaron. How are you? Hi. Hi, Tony morning. and Megan. How are you? Good. Doing well, thank you. Good to see both of you. We'll start with you, Brian. Now, you sure. have an interesting story on how you got this great book, because it is a wonderful book for boys, and there's a girl's version, too. There is. Uh, Anna Gunn, my co-star on Breaking Bad, gave me a book and, and wrote in it, this book reminds me of you, and I thought that was, that was nice, that yeah. there's still some boyishness. Uh, I wanted to create a show that was truly family and filled with adventure and whimsy and fantasy and emotion. So Dangerous Book for Boys is a great book. It, it doesn't have any plot or any characters, so we had to create all of that in order to uh, actually make a series. And I think this is a show that families should and could watch with seven-year-olds and up and grandpa and grandma and everybody watch it's it's yeah. I'm so proud of it it's so wonderful and it's not particularly just for boys my two girls have watched it they love it it's it's really about celebrating the kind of wildness of childhood and fostering it you know how to do all these fun crazy things while you're dealing with life but but here's the thing I, First of all, the title doesn't sound like it's a comedy, and, it, and I don't think it was originally meant to be a comedy, was it? Well, there, it's a how-to book about how to be a boy, how to build a fort, what are the great battles in history, what are the rules of baseball, and by the way, go Dodgers! I knew <laughs> oh, anyway. you were going to say so that. Now, we, that. We were going to say that to you. I got to do it. I got to do it. I know you. Huge Dodger fan. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, but, but there were no characters, so I had to create an environment that w would, we would uh, be allowed to, to tell stories. And so in every episode, there is a common family problem. And also in every episode, there are several fantasies that the boys take on this journey, inspired by the book. And in the fantasies, they discover options for possible solutions to those problems. And it's, it, it doesn't... It, there's comic aspects, there's silliness, there's adventure, there's real sentiment, there's tenderness and kindness, and there's all of it. It's like life. So, you know, there's not, it's not super it's heavy, not anyone, yeah. and it's not like, gotta hit that joke every, you yeah. know, every time. It's really kind of how life comes at you in, in a normal way. Well, Aaron, you play the mother, obviously, of these these boys. You have two little girls, like you said. Yes. And in this movie, or like the show, I mean, there's subtle life lessons. Could you identify with this? Because it's the death of their father, and she knows the appropriate time to give them this adventure. So do you think you can identify with these life lessons? Yeah, I, I mean, it's, especially in the beginning when she realizes that they are just, they're, nobody's communicating, they're not talking to each other, they are they are escaping into their screens. And she's like, oh, oh, okay, yes, now is the time. And so she gives it. And I've had that certainly in parenting when you're like, you just have to kind of slap yourself in the face and are like, we're not, you know what, we need to get back to what's important and we need to focus. Let's, we're just sitting around here. Like, let's go, let's go out, let's have an adventure. Uh, so that part of it I really identified with. You know, you know what, Brian, this, this, has, this represents yet another chapter in, in a very long career from you going all the way back to, I, I think, Power Rangers. Uh, <laughs> and, and, now, and now we've gone through, uh, through Breaking Bad, and we've gone through all of these different uh, episodes with you uh, as Walter White. And is, do you see this as the logical next step uh, in, in your career as, uh, as, as dealing with Amazon in a partnership? I think this is your third project with him, right? 
Well, this is our third project with Amazon, uh, the great partners to have. They give us great uh, creative, supportive notes. Um, so it, it's still storytelling, Tony. It's like I love acting. I, I enjoy directing as well and to write. Uh, and I wrote a couple of these episodes. Um, and producing is just kind of a, a related uh, discipline to that. And it, it's really fun to be able to construct something from the beginning and uh, it's like building a house. And now hopefully people will live in our house, our dangerous house. And on this end, it's wonderful to have somebody at the helm who knows all, who's been in all the other seats, you know, because the scripts, they're written so well for actors that everything tracks and the emotion is real and they took real care for that and just they knew so much about it so it was a very comfortable place to be in to create this character in the show. Well, that, that, that's, that's awesome, and, uh, and thank you both for joining us. By the way, Brian, I'm, I'm personally looking forward to your next Godzilla movie, but, that, but that's just me. <laughs> and you know what? Go Dodgers. Thanks, Tony. Well, that was our ending with you. Go, go Blue. Dodgers. Go Blue or <laughs> go right. home. All episodes of The Dangerous Book for Boys right. premiere on Amazon tomorrow. Thanks, guys.